Okay, Zorak needs to be careful that Glacier, but does set his sights on it. Gets a double kill. Looking to take out Lapras next, maybe. Or the Greninja gets the triple. Takes out the Lapras, that's the quad. Can you get the Penta? Yo, what is going on YouTube? Today we have three Zoroark players that are going to be battling out, battling it out, and proving to me that they are the best Zoroark player. Up first, we have Zika. He is a Zoroark main. Um, I mean, his name even starts with a Z as well. So, you know, he could be Zoroark's cousin. So we have three players, Zika, Giratina, and Pro. So we're going to be doing it one at a time against five of my lovely subscribers and they're going to be battling it out and we're going to see once and for all who is the best Zoro arc main out of all of my subscribers so let's get into it first match is underway we have Zika going into jungle uh let's see what's gonna happen in top lane first before we go back into the um into the jungle because you know we're gonna wait for Zoro to evolve and do all, all that he needs to do and then we'll you know spectate him Okay, Desi getting his stacks in. Blissey at half HP here. Ooh, might get taken out. Survives with just a sliver of HP left. Okay. Okay, Glacial is now on the battlefield. Zero Aura is heading into top lane. And purple team Zoro will be heading into bot. Ooh. I, th I thought the Zoro was going to full send that for a second. Okay. Oh, Zero's rotated bot lane. <laughs> Zero wants to smoke. He's like, hell nah. Ooh. Okay, there it is. Get some good damage off as well. Okay. I don't think either teams are gonna engage here. Because they all need to be careful. There's two assassins just lurking. There's the first one poking out. Some good patience being shown um, by our Zorak player. Ooh, okay. Okay, yeah, gonna be forced to retreat. Zero Aura was the one that won that exchange because he took out one of the purple team's members. Bli uh, excuse me. Bliss is going to heal up um, Zorak before they go back into their jungle. Also trying to steal <laughs> the farm as well. I actually manages to secure it as well. Okay. Uh, we're seeing both junglers in in mid now contesting the birds. Okay, Zorak will be will be the one that gets most of it. Gonna get level seven now as well. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Miascarada getting caught out by the left press. Pops the eject button. Gonna manage to survive. Can Sizzle take out the Greninja? Okay, Greninja forced to retreat. Oh, Sizzle still um pressing. And Zero Aura will come in in the nick of time to take them out, and Greninja will evolve. Okay, Zorak should be able to take out the Greninja here. Okay, nicely done. Lapras gets another stack in. Can they take out the Lapras as well? Meow Skirada is going to be the one to get the last hit. The Sigi by getting the snipe. Should be able to take out the War Turtle. War Turtle at low HP. Is there another Spirit Shackle in the chamber? There is, but War Turtle makes it back onto base and out of range of the Sigi's snipes. Oh, very good snipe there by the Sigi. It takes out the Zero Aura. Okay, we're going to start seeing Purple Team making their rotation into bot lane now. Okay. Zoro are finally hitting level 8. Zoroark should come down at level... Okay, so close to level 9. Can he grab that? He's going to hit level 9 any second now. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. Completely frontlining now. Puts himself in danger. Pops the Unite move as well. Oh, but the Icicle Spear going to take him out. Oh, the Shadow Sneak connected onto the Zero. The CGY almost getting taken out, but Blissey blocking the hits of Icicle Spear will enable the CGY to survive. These are some really good snipes from the CGY. I'm going to brush it off as well. Lines up another one. Blissey might be able to take out the Zero Aura and does exactly that with the Unite move. This, Bliss this Blissey player is really good, by the way. They main supports and they're doing such a good job. Okay, Miyasuke, we're going to the Unite. We're going to eject onto them as well. Okay, Zero Aura. I'm um, not Zero Aura. Zoroark chasing down that Greninja. Really wants him dead. Takes him out. Gets a double kill. 
They were all trying their best to defend the base, takes out the Miascarada. Zoroark manages to survive. Now we're going to go into their jungle and steal their buffs as well. Ooh, gets CC'd and Zero is right on top of them. But going to manage to make it out alive. Okay, now we're going to see Purple Team making their way. Well, both teams making their way into top lane now. Because Regio Leki is available. Okay. 25 left on the top team. On top. Uh, on Orange Team's top lane. And Purple Team have 42 left on their base. Okay, Sizzle popping the Unite move. Zero Aura drags them away. Sizzle manages to take out the um, Zero Aura though. Okay, Zorak taking out the Greninja. Takes out the Glaze Shot as well. Makes, making it a triple by taking out the Lapras as well. And Purple Team are going to be able to break their tier 1 goal. And that is going to be a free Regieleki for uh, Purple Team. Orange Team are severely underleveled here. The only one that can compete with them is the Zero Aura and maybe the Glaceon as well. Purple Team are all level 10s and level 11s, you know. And Orange Team are just level 9s and 8s and, you know. Oh, Blastoise pops to Unite move. Not really going to hit many people. Only gets the Blissey and Sizzle. Okay, Zero Aura takes out the Desi and the Miascarada. Looking to take out the Sizzle next. Okay, gets the triple. Gets the quad. Penta. Oh my god. Chasing down the Zero. The Zoro. Okay. Oh. What's happening? <laughs> I think the Zorak is just teasing. Zorak? Yeah, he, Zorak is actually just teasing. Because he knows that the Zero Aura cannot catch up to him. Regis is now up on the battlefield. Oh, Glacier just narrowly dodging the um the spirit shackle. Gets taken out by Blissey. Blissey actually getting a few kills this game. Funny enough. Ooh. Okay, Zorak takes out the Zero. Lapras by themselves. Can they make it back to base? Oh, if that snipe connected, I think it would have been enough to take them out. Let's go back to the Zorak. He's in a fight with the Blastoise. Blastoise has a Unite if they wish to use it. Okay, pops it. But can he escape though? Oh, gets taken out by the Sizzle. Getting completely overwhelmed. Okay, the last Regieleki will be spawning in the next 30 seconds here. Okay, Zero Aura forced to retreat. Okay, I don't think Orange Team will be able to fight and contest for this. I mean, if they do, it's going to be very, very risky. Purple Team are ahead on levels. I think their best bet is to just defend the Regieleki. Greninja, yeah, again, being the first one to frontline. It gets taken out. Zorak takes them both out. Two birds with one stone. Okay, Lapras going to stop them from um, dunking. Zero Aura dunking 26 in bot lane. That's going to put them closer to um, Purple Team. Okay, so it looks like they're just going to go ahead and start farming up now before Ray spawns in the next 20 seconds here. Purple Team has just got on the prompt that they are in the lead, so we're going to see how Orange Team are going to... Oh, how they're going to play now that they know that they're behind. Zero Aura puts them in the lead though, dunks 54 points, but at the expense of their life maybe. Miyasuke around the double team chasing. Decidueye? Are they going to give up? Oh, Decidueye, Decidueye. Oh, good jukes by the Zero. Okay, and they're just going to leave him. Okay, back to the Zoro Arc. Where is he? Pops a Unite. We're not going to hit anyone, though. Ooh, trying to get this Greninja. Can Greninja take him out? Ooh, Zoro Arc. Okay. Bliss is going to heal them back up, so Zoro Arc won't need to go back to base. Blastoise by themselves gets taken out. Zero Aura in a 1v1 with the Meowskarada. Just completely distracted. I won't be able to go to the Ray Pit. But makes the jump. Lands on the Desi. Has a Unite move available. Won't be able to use it though, it gets completely swarmed. But the rest of the team is here, the Calvary's here is back up. Glaceon looks like they just want to flip Ray. The Icicle Spears didn't lock onto the Zoro. If it did, that would have taken him out. Greninja taking out the Zoro. Brief intermission champions, just to let you all know, we are 29 subscribers away from 1,000. We are trying to hit this before Christmas, so if you're new around here, consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. Also, guys, I will be uploading 12 days straight, 12 days in a row um, for the 12 days of Christmas leading up until Christmas. So this will be starting from the 13th of December and it will end on the 24th, 25th of um, you know December this month. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy all the content I'll be pushing out and without further ado, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Who secured that? Miasco Rada, the ult. 
Going to be the one to secure the ray. Blasto is running away. <laughs> or he's just going to go in top lane to, the, um, to defend. Sizzle going to get a dunk in. Still not in the lead. Blissey. Blastoise could have broken Blissey's shield, in my opinion. I think Blastoise could have broken the shield, but he decided to run away. Y'all saw it. If Blastoise didn't run away and attack the Blissey, he could have broken that shield. But he's going to go dunk. 15 seconds left on the clock. If, if, if they're going to win, it's going to be because of Blastoise. He's the only one that's up here, but he has way too many points. Yeah. GG's. GG's, that was a close match. Zora getting 9 kills and 9 assists. No dunks in. I don't know if they were stacking. If they were, that's crazy because they got zero. Let's take a look at the damage stats. Okay, they got 91k damage here. Okay, they, they did pretty well. Yeah. Honestly, that was a really fun match to watch and we are going to get into round 2 now. Next up, we have Giratina. People watching this on YouTube will not know the amount of technical difficulties that we've had but if you're watching this live on stream you know exactly what went down but we are finally here after 25 minutes and gira is up next to prove that they are one of the best zorak players and they will be going jungle uh, just like the previous um zorak player as well okay so while we wait for the zorak to just farm up we're just going to spectate top lane see what's gonna you know what's gonna happen and also for continuity um, Purple Team are, are all choosing the same ones. Yeah, Purple Team have all chosen the same ones. Or at least um, the Blissey has. We're keeping Blissey the same. I would have hit Masters if my Pikachu didn't sell Ray Fight and pissed as fuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, they're going for um, Faint Attack this game. That's Faint Attack, right? Yeah. I feel like the only thing they have to watch out for is the Lapras. Or maybe the Zorark. Okay. Gonna clean up all the birds there. Oh yeah, Greninja gets taken out there. Lapras as well, maybe? Okay, Pops the eject. Blizz is dead to heal up the Zorak as well. Okay, is he gonna hang around or is he gonna... Okay, he's TPing back to base. Yeah, gonna go back to his jungle. Oh, Glacian getting a double kill in bot lane, okay. Nasty Dung gonna get a dunk in as well. Squirtle and Rolts are still level 4, by the way. I mean, so is the Greninja and Lapras as well, but... Oh, Glacian doing a really good job. I've, uh, I'm, I'm stealing that farm. Okay, let's go back into the top lane, because we see Zorak is coming in yet again. Yeah, just going to assassinate the Greninja and Lapras will fall as well, with the help of Miascarada. Okay, meanwhile in bot lane, not bot lane, sorry. In mid, um, the birds have been taken. Well, Glacial looking to take out this War Turtle, but War Turtle is able to retreat. Okay, Absol's going to get some dunks in as well. Three points left on their base, by the way. Oh, Zorak's coming in in the back lines. Might be able to catch someone off guard here. They're all off base. Trying to dunk two points. Finally gets it in, but can he escape? No, the Ice School Spear going to catch him off guard. That's very unfortunate for our Zorak player there. I think when they were first trying to dunk, they weren't quite on base. So that cost them because the enemy team were able to catch up. Okay. I feel like the threats this game are going to be that like Glaceon and Absol. The Glaceon and Absol are looking like strong contenders. Okay, good ejects from Gardevoir, but Absol has severely overextended. Pops a Unite moves just to stay alive. Zorak hot on his tail. Pops a Unite move. Unfortunately, won't connect. Still chasing the Absol. Takes out the Elder Goss. And, oh, Glacian will be able to shut them down. <clears throat> Zorak playing extremely aggressive here. He does manage to confirm kills, but unlike our previous Zorak player, they were playing, you know, more so around the Blissey, or at least with them, and they weren't, like, overextending way too much. Um, Greninja will take out the Miascarada. Okay, Zorak is back in. No Unite move to work with. No one on the field has a Unite move to work with, actually. Okay, Zorak needs to be careful that Glacian, but does set his sights on it. Gets a double kill. Looking to take out Lapras next, maybe. Or oh, the Greninja gets the triple. Takes out the Lapras, that's the quad. Can he get the Penta? The, the previous Zorak player didn't get a Penta, but can this Zorak player do it? Oh, the, um, the combo gets cancelled. 
Yeah, that's that, that's enough time. No penta inbound. Okay, so both Zorak players have gotten a 4 KO streak. No pressure, but the fourth one needs to get it. <laughs> the third one, sorry. There he goes again, just slicing and dicing. Gets another kill. Takes out the left press swiftly. Huge crit there from the Absol on the Miascarada. Absol trying to take out the Blissey as well. Good egg bomb from the Blissey. Okay, Absol responds with a um, quad kill himself. Looking to get the Penta. Okay, <laughs> I was not expecting Absol to be the one to get the Penta for this video. Okay, Blasto is doing a good job at defending, but can only do so much on one HP and, and Absol will get the 40 dunk in. Now we're going to start seeing both lanes going, um, both teams going into top lane now. I mean, God of War is already up there. They haven't started shredding. They're just farming up. They they should have broken the base. I feel like God of War low-key through. They should have broke that base while everyone was in bot lane. Absol is, the, is demonic. Absol is really demonic this game. Looks like the Zorak has competition. Okay, Absol going to retreat back to base. Okay. Okay, Zorak. Just gets right up in there. Pops a Unite move as well. Takes out the Greninja. Blastoise pops a Unite move as well. God of War, huge Unite coming out. And Blastoise doing an amazing job at frontlining. Absol Unite move coming out. Gets a Blissey with low HP. Good stun there from the God of War, but an even better eject from the Absol to catch up to the God of War. Looking to take out Blissey as well, but forced to retreat. I thought this was a Zorak video, but it's looking like an Absol masterclass at the moment. Okay, Zorak is back. Okay, the birds are now gone. Both teams are still contesting for the Reggie. Meanwhile, bot bottom Reggie will be spawning in the next 10 seconds here. Let's see what both teams are going to do. Miascarada has an ult, so does a Blissey. One thing I've noticed, Zorak is really playing solo this game. They're not really waiting for their teammates and they're not playing off the Blissey, you know? They're just dashing in. Ooh, Absol is rotating bot lane. Let's spectate. By themselves. They need to be careful here. I don't think there's much they can do. Ooh, Zorak, you need to be careful. Yeah, you're asking for those back shots. Ooh, that's the second one. Okay, good Blissey. Oh, gonna damage the Absol as well. But no one's able to dunk. There's only one Absol. Why are you guys struggling? There were so many of you. Absol did such a good job at defending as well. Gonna TP back to base now. He's done his work. So it's, the rest of, it's up to the rest of his team to finish what he started. Ooh, Zorak on low HP. Miascarada will um, secure the Ranger up though. Okay, Absol's coming back in. Blaster's getting a double kill. Zorak takes out the Greninja. Absol back at it again with the back shots. Takes out the Zorak. Looking to take out the Blast Toys, but Blast Toys doing such a good job at um, tanking and frontlining. So Absol will not be able to get much damage on. Okay. Orange team are in the lead right now, by the way. In less than a minute, Ray will be spawning as well. So, we're going to see what's going to happen up until then. I think if Orange, if um, Purple Team want to win, they need to take out that Absol. Absol's been such a threat to them. Even when he was defending the base by himself in bot lane, no one was able to take him out. Even though there was like three or four of them. Oh, Greninja, what are we doing here? Okay, they're going to scare him off. Zora, just 20 seconds until Ray. Be careful. You need to chill. Okay, manages to get out. Oh, goes back in. Looking to take it. Look, looking to take out the LD. Icicle Spear's going to lock on and Absol's there. To come in with a back shot to take out one. Takes out two. And he escapes. God of War, you're not coming out. Takes out the, the Lapras and the LD. Absol going to TP back. Or is he going to stay? What's the play here, Absol? Oh, he's going to engage. Pops a Unite move. Oh, okay. Now they're within kill range. Now they're within kill range. Okay, Absol. Still chasing. Oh, you need to be careful with the Blast Toys. Forced him to pop a Unite. Absol just jump scared the Blast Toys. He jump scared him into using a Unite move. Lapras comes in with a Unite move now. LD has a Unite. Is he going to use it to heal the, the, the Greninja? LD? No, just going to let them die. Absol coming back in again with the back shots. Takes him out. Zorak coming in. Pops the Unite move. That's three dead for Orange Team, but two dead for the Purple Team. Zorak chasing down the Absol. Whoever wins this fight will determine who wins the game. Absol targets the wild Pokemon, unfortunately. He's still on the prowl. Oh my god, what is this match? Game two has been intense. Okay. In five seconds here, both teams are going to be notified at, um, on who's winning. 
Okay, LD Unite gonna heal up the Lapras. Absol just waiting to get that, that last hit in on the Rayquaza. As you can see, he's in the back lines, waiting for the back shot. gonna time it nicely, and Greninja's gonna, going to be the one to actually secure it. So now both teams are just going to gonna go ahead and dunk. Zorak's going to go to the to the top lane. Is that enough to break? Yes, it is. And then the rest of the team are going in bot lane. Oh, this is going to be such a close game. God of War needs to dunk. But there's no Unamis to work with, no nothing. And they still have the Ray Shield. Okay, Blasters pops another Unite move. Oh my god, what's the play? Ooh, I want to see my further extending their lead. Blasters gets taken out. Zorak trying to dunk in 11 points, but the Lapras is just stopping them. I think Zorak is just giving it up. What a game, too. Absol still handing out back shots in the game. It's just... Bro, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Absol has gone completely insane this match. Spinning for the camera as well. Holy, what a match. Absol was demonic that game. But let's focus on our Zorak player here. They got 10 kills, 4 assists. Let's take a look at the damage stats. Okay, they st <laughs> the Absol? Okay, they still did really, really well considering the fact that they were up against this Absol. The first Zorak player did not have to compete with this Absol. So the fact that this Zorak player did and they still did well, it says a lot. But let's move on to the third and final Zorak player. Pro is up next, running Zoroark, and again, they will be going into the jungle. Okay, we keep on spectating top lane, so let's actually go into bot lane this time and see what bot lane adventures we can, you know, uh, witness. Okay, Rolls just missed Confusion. They would have been able to secure that, but Glacier was the one to secure it in instead. We are Skarada just getting their stacks in. So is Lapras as well. Oh, can Lapras steal? Okay, La Rolt's making sure to secure it that time. Okay. We are Skarada, are they going to contest this? Yes, they are. Oh, but Lapras is just there. Okay, Zorak is headed, headed into top lane now. Okay. Waiting for this burst to spawn. Both junglers are waiting for each other in the bushes right now. Okay, Zorak's the first one to engage. Okay, gets enough damage for his teammates to take out the Greninja. That actually works out in their favor because now Blissey is on the battlefield. Okay. Cypher going to... Hmm, what's Cypher doing? Oh. Okay. Well, this is this is bad for Zorak now. E Zorak, why are you there? Zorak! Oh, no. Oh, no. But manages to escape. That's the thing. Zora can low-key get away with stuff like that. Because he has such low cooldowns on his dashes, you know. What's his cooldowns? Like, what? Three seconds? Four seconds? I think it's four. Lefrash still casually just getting some dunks in as well. But then Perish Song. Okay, forced to retreat. Okay, let's go back in top lane. It seems like most of the action is actually happening here. Okay. It's five seconds and four on plus, I bet. Okay, Cypher's by himself. Oh, is Zorak going to try to go for the kill here? I'd imagine so, since Cypher's by himself, but... Manages to get to the berry, but Zorak won't be able to finish the combo because Cypher is just a bit too quick for him. So now Cypher's forced to TP back to base. Ooh. Okay, the rest of the team is here. The entirety of purple team is in bot lane right now. Okay, birds will be spawning in the next five seconds here. Zoro sets his sights on the Elder Gods, trying to take them out. Leaves them on about 20% HP left. Cypher takes out the um, the Miascarada. Zorak dashing in again. Needs to be careful because Cypher's there to take him out at any given moment. Okay. Where's the game audio? I can't hear it. What the hell? Okay, it's back. Okay, Desi lining up some snipes. He's going to be the victim. Okay, Desi needs to be the one to secure this. Zorak doing a good job of getting the damage in. Okay, Desi just didn't even charge up the arrow. I don't know what happened. Cypher was the one to secure it. Oh, the Icicle Spear is going to lock onto the Zoro. And with, that is an X attack boost to the Icicle Spear. So that is guaranteed to take out the Zoro. Blissey's going to get taken out as well. Cypher looking to take out the God of War. Just, at, just like how they took out the Decidueye. 
Okay, and they're going to be able to break the base. We ask Karana coming back in. They need to be careful. Gets taken out by the Greninja. Zorak pops to Unite move. They're all such low HP, but Zorak's not able to do anything at the moment. Okay, Orange Team are forced to retreat. Okay. Both teams are going to start making their way into top lane as Reggie and Lecky has now spawned. Zora going to take some jungle buffs while he's at it as well and then make his way into top lane. Okay, he needs to be really careful. Because if he gets caught out by the Lapras, then the rest of the, of the orange team could just dive in on him. Okay, nicely played. Gets a double kill. Can he make it a triple? And there we go. There's Cypher, I told you. Cypher's just lurking. Pop this Unite move as well. Gets a double kill. Gets a triple kill, actually. I didn't even notice he got the third. Okay, Decidueye. You need to redeem yourself. In bot lane, you did not secure the Reggie. Can you do it this time? Let it rip. Let it rip. Oh, I think it was just a second too early. Cypher's really good at these secures. Oh, Glacier taking out Zoro. Greninja pops a Unite move as well. Lapras coming in full speed ahead. <laughs> Even though they're low HP, you have to respect it. But Desi will get the double kill and tell them to back off. Guess it's a triple kill, actually. Eldegor's still lingering around. Needs to be careful. And just like that, Bottom Reggie will be spawning in the next five seconds here. We're going to see uh, Safa just, you know, clear the jungle. Miascarada looking to get some dunks in. Don't think they'll be able to get the 10 in. Pops a double team, going to stun them. Pops the eject as well for extra safety. Okay. Okay, what's the play here, Zorak? Oh, Zorak really wants the Cypher dead. Even willing to put himself in danger, but Glacier's there to help the Cypher. And Zorak gets taken out. And oh my god, no way. Blissey almost got that Duncan, by the way. Blissey almost got that Duncan. Okay. Good snap from the Decidueye. Takes out the Greninja. Okay. Orange team. Okay, Lapras is the last one to pull up, but they're here nonetheless. Glacial's gonna um, go ahead and just start shredding that. Okay, Zorak, who are you gonna target? Zorak hasn't made a statement yet. They keep on trying to take out the Cypher. Gets ulted by the Blissey. Finally takes out the Cypher. Okay, Snowball. Take out the rest of the team. Okay, backs up. Okay, there we go. Oh, those Icicle Spears are going to do a lot of damage. But Blissey's doing a jo good job of, of um, body blocking. Takes out the Elder Ghost. Gets frozen by the Lapras. Could you now be by the Decidueye providing such good coverage and backup for the Zorak? Can you take out the Greninja as well? Okay. Let's go, Desi. And Lapras should get taken out. Okay, the Sidewire really coming in clutch to help the Zorak. Okay, Zorak manages to escape. Okay, the Sidewire is actually <laughs> the Sidewire is actually hitting his snipes now. Early on in the game, he wasn't really doing much, but now he's you know making up for it. Uh, they play different builds, so it's hard to see who's the best. I mean. That's the whole point. Not everyone's going to run the same Zorak build. Good snap from the Sidewire again, by the way. Okay, Zorak trying to take out the LD, but gets caught out by the Cypher as well. By themselves. The Zorak, one thing I've noticed about this Zorak, even the last one, they both played off, like, they, they're not playing with their team or with the Blissey, you know? They're just diving in headfirst by themselves. Oh, Cypher. Doing the same thing, actually, but it seems like, okay. I was about to say, it was kind of working. Because he took out the Sidewire. But gets shut down. Okay. Good double team by the Miascarada. Okay. Okay. Ray will be spawning in the next 10 seconds here. Okay, both teams are just going to ignore the Reggie Alecki. Eldegoss doing a good job just healing their teammates. And yeah, we're go we are going to see uh, how the final fight is going to shape up. I'm not going to lie, the Zoro uh, makes a play. It's a 50-50, either misses faint or cleans up. Yeah, I agree. Let's see how, the, how they're going to do in this match, though. Oh, look at the positioning. Okay. Zorak takes out the side, um, takes out the left press. Cypher, when are you going to jump in? Okay. Oh, gets healed by the LD and then decides to go in. Takes out the, the Decidueye. Looking to take out the Godwar. Godwar pops to eject. 
Zorak pops the ult. Okay. Trying to take out the Greninja. Not quite getting in. Cypher's in the back lines. Okay. Can he take them out? Okay, Cypher gets taken out. That's two dead for the orange team, but that's also two dead for the purple team as well. Zorak chasing down that, uh, that Elder Goss, but Lapras is right behind them as well. Oh, he's surviving on literally no HP. Okay, Zorak forced to retreat now. Blissey's dead, so they need to wait for their healer to come back. Eldegoss, Eldegoss is still here on no HP. Oh, they're playing with the devil right now. And then gets taken out by the Miascarada. The Eldi should have TP'd back to base. I don't know why they stayed in. Okay. Ooh, Zorak needs to be careful of this Glaceon. Yeah, X attack as well. That's doing a lot of damage. Focus Band? Was that Focus Band Zoro? I need to pay attention more. Okay, Glacier going for a backcap. So is the Zorok as well. But Decidueye, the hero, is there to um, stop them in their tracks. That dunk is enough to put Purple Team in the lead. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh my god. Orange Team don't know they're losing now. That dunk from Zorok put them in the lead. Orange Team needs to go dunk. There's two dead. Greninja's dead. Glacier's dead. Eldegoss going for a backcap. But God of War is dead to stop them. Eight seconds left on the clock. Lapras coming in. They express. Can they take out God of War? Oh my god, Elder Ghost. Oh my god, Elder Ghost. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. That was enough. That was enough to win. No way. No way. Elder Ghost saving the game for their team, getting the MVP as well. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're not going to understand, but Andy was getting flamed in the chat earlier and here he is getting MVP and winning the game for his team. Andy, you're an absolute superstar. You deserve that MVP. Let's take a look at the Zoro. Zoro got seven kills, four assists. Let's take a look at the, uh, the stats. Okay, weirdly enough, he got the most damage out of all the Zoroarchs. He got the most damage out of all the Zoroarchs. Okay, guys, we are going to move on to the poll and I'm going to let you guys vote for who you think was the best Zorark post-edit champ back here again. The winner of this video is Zika with 39%. Second place is Pro and last place is Gira. Tina, guys, this video was a ton of fun to do. I would love to do this again, but with a different mon and with a different set of people. So if you guys want to see that, let's shoot for 50 likes. And if we can do that, I will drop another part. But champions... Take care and I'll catch you in the next one.